No more moving squares, no more textureless cubes and no more pathetic gameplay. This video is the first of a series where I make an actual game which people would actually want to play. Let me show you. Since my previous games have so far looked like my first ever attempt to use Unity, I decided that I want to go bigger. This decision was made late in the night without knowing about the severe lack of information on how to develop games for the PlayStation. So here I am, doing basically nothing but researching since the last video and trying to abstract as much of the software development kit to make it usable for a game. Those of you who are on my Discord server might have seen this. I actually managed to load textures in a sensible way and after making some dumb jokes about SCPs, I continued to the next order of business loading models into the PlayStation. And to my horror, I discovered that the software development... And to my horror, I discovered that the software development kit doesn't support the model files that Sony designed the console to work with. After another two hours of googling and going as far down as page 5 on Google, I decided to do it the most heretic way I know. I wrote a Python script that converts .obj files into .c files which contain the raw vertex data. But before the PSX development community burns me for heresy, let me clarify a few things. Is it slow? Yes. Does it kill the CPU? Absolutely. But does it work? Yes it does. So hit me up on my Discord when PS Noob SDK has some decent support for TMD files. So what game am I actually going to make? Well, I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you. But first, I want to create a vault, so let's do that. So what I'm planning to do is a little town square with a fountain in the middle and some nice buildings. But to make things a little bit more interesting, I decided that I want to photograph my own textures. So let's go. Well, I need some windows, I need some facade, and I need some textures for the fountain, so let's go. Everyone keeps replacing their windows for these modern ones, not exactly helping my situation. Oh, come on, does no one have old windows in this street? I think I have hit a jackpot. Okay, the window is done. Now for some facade. It didn't hit me until now that I'm going to need some flooring. This looks nice. Well, would you look at that? A fountain. Okay, but I still don't have any facades. This one looks nice. So now that I have some textures, I can boot up Blender and do some modeling magic. And so you guys don't have to listen to my Czech mumbling while I'm modeling, I would like to give a shout out to Mini Stumpy from my Discord, who makes awesome music and I'm going to use one of his songs as background music in here. Nice, I used the cobblestone texture to create a ground. Now let's bring it into the PlayStation. Nice! Okay, now that I have a floor, I'm going to implement some basic camera movement so I can look at my scene. So now that I have a ground and, you know, a basic square to work with, I would like to decide on what town square I'm actually going to make. And I thought of creating one of these medieval town squares, which you like always see in European countries, in like Prague or Vienna or something like that. And I'm going to set my game in this environment and I'm going to let it up to you guys to decide what kind of game is it going to be. Is it going to be a horror game? Is it going to be a survival game? Is it going to be an adventure game? Linear? I don't know, that's up to you. So feel free to come to my Discord, right here or here, I have no idea. And there you can make suggestions as to what game I am going to make. But let's build the actual square.
So now we have a nice fountain on our town square. But I still think it's missing something. Now, that's better. <laughs> So there you have it, a nice town square with a fountain. Okay, so the next order of business is some lighting, because everything is just flat shaded right now, some sounds and some gameplay. And the gameplay part is up to you guys, because you can now join my Discord server, Cart somewhere up here, in which you can debate and make suggestions as to what gameplay features my game should have. And it's really up to you guys, I will make whatever you want me to make. So make sure to join my Discord. And all of this will have to wait for another part, because I'm all out of time for this one. And right after this video premieres, I will be once again in the post-premiere voice channel in my Discord, where we can have a little conversation about this video. But now, I'm off to Austria again. Bye!